breathing. And coming down. Having my eyes closed. Hearing some sounds of birds and cars. It's not all the same. I feel tension in my neck. A lot actually. And I also notice my tight chest. My toes on the floor. It's a smooth floor. I feel the spit in my mouth. The tongue feels it. There is some emotion. Most of the sounds I actually hear from outside, not from from inside the flat. Also, I hear the computer. My ears. They seem somehow also tense inside, so a lot of tension here. computer makes noise. I also feel my back against the chair, my sit bones, both sitting bones are very present. My right thumb on the inside of my left middle finger where it meets the palm where the finger starts and then where it meets the palm of the hand right there in this fold I'm thinking it's not so hard to tell a story once you sit down and listen I hear the fridge. It's actually also, I feel quite warm. There's some fluid in the fridge. In my nose. And I feel that there is in the front of the right nostril, there's some, I don't know, some piece of a pupil. I should also cut my nose hair sometime again. I feel also the rests of um, some cereal I just ate with my tongue. And I feel my, my eyes against the eyelids.
Use some hair on my forehead. <sighs> I'm breathing. Getting more relaxed and heavy. Feeling my teeth on my lips, my tongue on my lips, and also how how my bird above the lip tickles in a way a bit my lips or the the spaced fold between the the lip above and the other uh, the other the under lip notice me notice me smiling <coughs> it's nice I like it there's the sound of the fridge of the computer can also feel my heart beat. Also some air leaving my bump. I can actually feel also the clothes on my body. The shirt that I wear. And also the pants I can feel. I also feel the chair on the inside of my my calves. And I I, I feel the light on the left side of my skin from outside. Like the light that I can still see through my eyelids. I feel my the tilt of my head when I go with my head backwards and I can imagine the blue sky outside of the window The blue sky, which is not completely clear, which has those spots of clouds on it. And there's this feel always 
some when I look out of the kitchen window with the with the houses that I see which have open walls to the side kind of where there could be just another house next to it or the open brick walls or also these these roof gardens with the green on it or there is this there's this hotel in front of our window like higher than most buildings where when there is the sun setting the sun shimmers against the front of the house and there are all these all these um, chimneys it's called I think where the where the air hot air leaves the houses chimneys which go out into the air as extensions of the houses and there is some here from metal like round and from metal and very not gloomy but like reflecting very very much like a metal metal surface that is very polished and clean where the sun would just reflect on it and there are these also and all this somehow of, mm, it reminds me of New York New York City even though some details are missing of course and I feel myself swallow also still I'm very aware of my voice the tongue between my lips meeting kissing my lips kissing another mouth it's nice soft and also warm very delicate and smooth and there is this desire this fine desire to meet these other lips so soft so sensible so longing and the wanting may be oh yeah always the sound the sound when the lips meet the close-up and this when doing slow this clear I don't know sensation of kissing of sucking in every detail but then also sometimes always the sometimes always the sometimes always the desire to continue to use the teeth or like to bite a bit in the tongue in the tongue no I mean the lips or to use the tongue to 
to not directly kiss the lips but to kiss in the side of in the folds of the lips or just part of it or just going to the cheek and lick a bit the cheek never in a way making it to I don't know to um, to fluid <laughs> to using too much spit to do it because otherwise it might be disgusting and then these these tongues they are strange things anyway the tongues if you maybe also just look at the body part by itself it's very strange things like the tongue like uh, yeah like from the snake like from a reptile this muscle which is can go into all these directions and, and reform itself into other shapes and this big entrance when you would have your mouth open and look inside look into this dark void where there where you meet this tongue which is when you kiss such a like a lovely sensation but if you would yeah lick a stranger then it would be totally disgusting but then it just changes everything then then it's so lovely and desirable when you look into a mouth yeah you see this this void this big dark void and then this muscle it could be just like from some monster would be something maybe for some scientists like beautiful to look at or for some artists but most people if you would maybe film it or show some photograph or they would maybe say of reminded of the tooth doctor and there's just some wind here wind and some trees some trees I can hear in the yard and the trees in the yard they look really like the, the living beings like coming out of this this ground surrounded by all this this stone and concrete there's really something like like living coming out of the the ground and projecting living into the the space filling it with all the all the branches branches and the leaves it's something very alive and just imagine how there would be this big in the yard instead of the tree there would be coming this big tongue out of the ground which is going around and going forth and back and twisting reaching up to the sun and to the sky but also licking licking the walls of the buildings around and there's students and other people inside the houses and then the, the tongue is just licking the windows and the window frames like you would have on your teeth that you have something something missing from the last meal and the tongue is just licking it up and when the tongue is so big you can also see all the other the other structures of the tongue Big, the, the fold also in the middle the two parts of it how it can be sometimes very 
like a pyramid or it can be can get very very much too long and to point or how it can be more spread out like thin but spread out to the middle and be wide changing its forms bending making making a, a circle not a circle but a, a rounded shape in the in the yard between the houses where people could maybe come and sit on this soft surface of the tongue. It's a muscle that can be so hard but also so soft. Below there would be also space in case it's raining. In case some time, some day, there is no blue sky. But people could be also animals. Could be underneath. If it's raining. What a nice and solid structure, like how alive this would be. And if there would be another tongue in this yard, the tongues they could also kiss. But is there a tongue? Is there a, a kiss? A French kiss when without mouth? Just tongues? What makes a kiss? And I can also feel the air around my skin. The hair. But I also feel and set my chest today. I'm actually a bit sick today. So I put the hand in my chest I heard somebody coughing still blue sky with clouds And then there's sky and clouds. And the clouds, they would just melt into the blue of the sky. They would just fall into the sky. Like in a lake, they would just fall into it so that, that they make waves on the sky, the clouds. And, and then the clouds, when they enter the sky, when they go below the surface of the sky, and when the clouds they sink to the to the ground of the sky, the, the sky has to rise. And the sky comes closer to you. Feels like the, the all the space is narrowing a bit when the sky comes closer to you. Or it feels like that you are actually going up. Meeting the sky. Getting moved by the waves the clouds produce surfing the waves of the of the sky they're not really surfing it just being underneath the sky 
how it spans around the earth and being very close to touch it, to touch the sky, feeling the vibration of it and seeing that all the sky, these waves, they are not so smooth. They have a lot of texture on them. A lot of organic textures and wrinkles and edges. Very complex, sometimes organic. It's like a lot of a lot of things that are deep down in the sky towards the ground of the sky they sometimes want to pop out popping out possibilities manifesting in the space above or below the sky directions are not so clear but below me is the earth high in the sky with big hands I want to touch but as I touch just my finger is it's not going in the sky but it's melting into the in the surface also where where just the surface of the sky we just have been all the all the structures and waves it's just like when I touch my fingers floating into it all in all directions like it would be some stream stream of of water when there would be just like plain water in a, in a sink and then then I open um, the water from the tap and the water from the tap would have just like would be very a very light stream but it's colored and then how this color maybe meets the surface without going under the underneath the surface of the water but just like going there in all directions and coloring it so in the same way my finger is touching the sky and goes everywhere in the sky spreading out in the sky same happens with my sensation my sensation when I touch the sky it opens up into all directions of it it's like I don't know there one in the rest of the body I'm in my body but there on the fingertip of the showing finger of the finger of my my right hand the next finger like next to the thumb it's going into limitless it's going into like everywhere in the sky the sensation in this finger it opens up it's more than a finger but still my feeling can just extend into it can my feeling can go beyond my body where my body melts into the sky it's part of it part of the sky Just imagine this would also happen when kissing that the lips that they melt into each other just for like this short moment 
of touching going in and out of the melting into each other touching as a way to transcend borders of one body and so also the sky fades back into the, the finger the sky taking it in fingers in the sky the sky goes into the finger and I'm just hanging from the sky now or I'm on top of it all the void all the air around me all the blue around me and out of the blue or everywhere there are coming little tornadoes of colors these tornadoes also have their origin in the sky they come out of the the sky is swirling out extensions from the sky weight rotating into it and having a lot of yeah color but also the same as like from water like the fine the very fine water more like dust around them different structures of dust with the whirling around them it's very amazing to look at the sky how I hang from the sky with my my finger the sky going into me and out and then over these these colorful worlds around how they would continue to swirl and whirl swirl and whirl swirl and whirl and whirl whirl imagine in the yard between the houses the times when they make how would such a, such a tongue make the sound little how would it form how 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 the tongue makes forms when it makes different sounds how this would determine how the shape in the yard would be